All right, everybody. Now that we've learned how to use that diagram, all right, and uh, we're getting into the subnetting portion of it, all right, and the subnet mask and all that, and we've seen a little bit of it already, we have some problems to figure out, okay? And get on this side. I really don't know which side to get on where you can see it, all right? All right, so here we have the first question. We'll do a couple questions, not many, just to, for you to get the idea of what classful subnetting is, which is usually, classful subnetting means that you have the same number of hosts per network. That's class full subnetting, all right? Same number of hosts, same mask per network, okay? So here it says, what valid host range is the IP address 172.16.10.22 with that particular mask, 255.255.255.240, a part of? Now, when I'm asked a question like this, how do you attack a question like this? Well, you look at the subnet mask, the key, right? So it's 240. So you get this 240. It's okay, so I'm focused on the last octet. So let me draw my diagram. X dot X, not Z, what is that? Uh, X dot X dot X dot 1, 2, 3, 4, line 1, 2, 3, 4. How did I know? How did I know that it was going to be that right there? Because 240 is four bits on. That's where the bit to decimal table, table helps you. So it's 240. I'm on the last octet. This bit value right here is 16. It's 16. All right? Because 1, 2, 8, uh, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. That's how we increment. So our focus is that 22. So how many times do we need to increment by 16 to get to 22 in the last octet? I know that it's only going to be once, but let's see how you would do that. So you would say, okay, x dot x dot x, no, nope, 16, no, it is the last octet, I'm sorry, x, last octet, right? Yeah, 16, and then, okay, and if I increment again, is x dot x dot x dot 32. Well, the number I'm looking for is 22, which is in the last octet. So I know it's not going to be in the 32 network. It's going to be in the 16 network. And they're asking for the valid host range. So what do I do? I sum up these video, these bits right there, which is always one less, the, increment, the network increment. So it's 15. That summation, that addition, 15 plus 16 is 31, x at x at x, 31. So what's in between 16 and 31? 17 and 30, right? After 16, we have 17. Before 31, we have 30. There you go. Even easier, since I incremented twice, what's one less 32? 31. And it always works out that way. So there's many ways of doing it to make it quick, make it easy for you. So you're going to do less work and get your answers that you need. But anyway, for this first answer, the range is 17 through 30. So the answer would be 17 through 30. So the answer would be E. That is how you do that. Again, what did I focus on? I focused on the mask because the mask told me where to draw that line. Sounds like a spirit, though. I hear voices, right? <laughs> the mask told me where to draw the line. So once I draw the line, I know what I increment by. So I increment till I get close to the number that I'm focusing on, which is in the fourth octet. In this case, it was 16, uh, 22. So obviously, I wasn't going to go beyond 16. I just did it so you can see a visualization. So 22 will not fall in the 32 network, okay? So that's the first problem. That's the first problem. That's how we got the answer to get the range. Let's go to question number two. Question number two states, uh, what is the broadcast address of the subnet address 172.16.8.9, I lost my notepad, all right, 172.16.8.159. So that's an address, 159 slash 26. Again, what am I focusing on? I don't care about anything else than, hey, the first thing I need to do is draw that line draw that line. It's a 26. So there you go. That was easy enough. 26 bits on. 8, 
8 and 8 is 24, 25, 26, then 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's 8 bits, right? And uh, what is the address? What does it say? What is the broadcast address of 159? Okay, so we increment by what? This number right here, we're incrementing by 64. So therefore, x dot x dot x, 64. X dot x dot x, 64 again, that's 128. If we increment again, x dot x dot x, and 64, that's 192. So 159 is less than 192. So there's no way that 159 will fall in there. Now, in our previous example, I said that one less this network is this guy's broadcast. So the broadcast here is x at x at x, 191. But let's prove that. If we add these bit values, which is 63, because there's always one less the increment, 63 and 128, 191. So the answer is 191, and that would be C. Again, the pray that these are the type of questions that you're going to get asked when it comes to IPs. But I can tell you right off the bat that they're not. But well, let's do one more question. Let's do one more question just so you can get the hang of it. Let's move this up a little bit. Let me use the tools of the trade. Let's go here. Here we go. Let's use this one, question number four. Let's get the notepad. Okay, up here. Question number four. That's the one we're going to do. Question number four. And let me erase all this. All right. So now, in question number four, they don't even give you any, any numbers or mass. They're looking for a mass. But look at the question. If you wanted to have 12 subnets with a Class C key, Class C network ID, which subnet mask would you use? Okay, a Class C network ID, right? That would mean x.x.x. Dot x dot x. Because Class C, class full boundary, that means the first three octets. So what mask would you use for 12 subnets? Well, we don't know. We know we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 bits to work with. And when you count for subnets, you're counting from left to right. So let's go ahead and count from left to right now. All right, let me get over here. And I'll use the shift. There you go. 2, 4, 8. Can I stop there? 16. So you have those four bits that are on. So your line will be right there. That means you turn on these four bits right here. So that will be your mask. So what's four bits? 240. Again, this is why you need to know that bit to decimal table. You see? All right, so this is classful subnetting. Uh, when they're asking you same number of holes, you're going to use the same mask. This is what this deals with in this line of questioning, all right, where they're going to ask you things. They're not going to ask you things like this, but if they do, very straightforward questions, be happy about it. But again, what classful submitting is, which we don't use anymore, all right, very few of us use, is having the same number of hosts or the same mask per network segment, which is not a reality anymore, and that is the reason that we ran out of IPv4 addresses. Eventually, we ran out anyway. We just ran out a lot quicker because we just gave away so many addresses. All right? But classful submitting is a thing of the past. Now we do what's called classless submitting, and that's your next lecture. I'll see you there.